So as a pressure cleaning company, the first thing that I notice everywhere I go is how dirty everything is. And if you see up here, it's really nasty. These have not been cleaned in a long time. We're not here to clean the buildings, but you better believe I'm gonna give them an estimate for it. Anyway, uh, they are looking to have the gutters cleaned. They are looking to have the roof blown off. So it's pretty easy access, not very tall. So we're gonna throw up some ladders. We're gonna hop up there with some backpack blowers initially to blow off all of the roof, all the debris off of the roof, and probably do that for the gutters as well. Just uh, kind of walk the edge and blow out what we can. Uh, again, I quoted this on a worst case scenario basis, and by that I mean that I assume that every single square inch of every single gutter is gonna be completely clogged and we're gonna to have to unclog it by hand. I'm hoping that's not the case and usually it's not, but you never know unless you come out and you get up there and you look prior to giving the quote and that's not how we operate. So that's where we're at here. So over the past few years, we've made a small fortune cleaning gutters for commercial properties. And it's not something that you really hear a lot about out there, but it's a little niche that I have found that is pretty awesome. So obviously we target multifamily properties, commercial buildings for our exterior pressure washing services. But I've also really focused hard on gutter cleaning. And now I don't push gutter cleaning for residential because it just doesn't make much sense from a profitability standpoint for us. But commercial properties, that's a whole nother ball game. So I target property managers specifically at apartment communities. I go about this in a number of ways, both digital and boots on the ground. And there is a method to the madness. It's not just a postcard or an email. There is a process and it doesn't happen overnight. And these aren't jobs that people just say, yeah, come on out and clean the gutters for 20K. It is a process. It's got budgeting involved. There is the cultivation of the relationship, building the trust, right? And if you're interested in landing big jobs like this, check out the first link in the comment section and description below. That's going to take you over to my six figure marketing framework. In there, I'm going to break down exactly how I get my business in front of homeowners, commercial businesses, and multifamily properties, just like this apartment community. I'm going to show you how to diversify your lead flow so you can bring in customers from multiple sources. And I teach you everything that I've been doing over the past 20 years to keep the phone ringing and the schedule full. Not only that, I'm going to give you Aaron Parker's how to rank your GMB in 30 days course absolutely free. And I'm so confident in my course that I'm offering a hundred percent guarantee. So there is no risk to you. If you implement what's in the course and don't make your money back, I will Will write you a personal check. And really, this is the cost of one house wash. And this information could change your business forever. So there is no risk. So just check it out. First link in the comment section and description. So hey, let's get back to the walk around on this property. Be careful, Mac. <laughs> all right, so we were able to blow all of this out for the most part, except this little part right here with the backpack blower. So Mac is gonna get up there because there's such a small space in between the shingle overhang and the gutter itself that he couldn't really get his hand in there good to get it all cleaned out. So he's pulling out the pressure washer and he is gonna blast it. It's gonna make a little bit of a mess, but it's only like those three sides right there. Everything else we could blow out. So one of the things that you always have to look for when you're quoting a property, and it's incredibly hard to do when you are quoting remotely, is ask about the water source. If you don't have a water source, you're gonna be SOL, and that is not a good place to be. So I did not ask the manager if there was water sources. We get here, and there are no water sources. We walked around the building, talked to the maintenance person, and uh, fortunately, there was a guy that worked for a fire supply testing company who had all the equipment needed so we could hook up to the fire hydrant, as you see here. But always ask if there's a water supply, now the, the fire hydrant guy left and we are gonna have to go through one of these windows to an empty unit and hook up to one of the sinks. That's not ideal, but you gotta do what you gotta do in order to get the job done. This whole project, what? What time is it? Uh, yeah. uh, 11. 11, and what time do we pull up? Not. Yeah, so I mean, we probably got another hour and a half cleaning up, uh, spraying down. And uh, I'm also going to hit him up to uh, pressure wash this place, too, because it's oh, bad. Oh, yeah, definitely. But, like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Spider webs, spider eggs, just gross. So I'm going to uh, obviously 
present them with a uh, proposal. This company, like I said, just bought this place and they're going through a couple of inspections. Mac was just telling me that uh, some of the residents have come up and said that they've already failed the inspection once and that's why they needed us out so quickly. So uh, that's why we're here. But it's jobs like this that really make it uh, worthwhile, you know, pretty easy. Like I said earlier, you quote for the worst case scenario, you hope for the best, if not, you're covered, but uh, that's it. We do have to uh, blow off all these cars. Oh, yeah.